students welcome to the class this is dr sanjana sharma today we are going to begin a new poem by ak ramanujan and the title of this poem is love poem for a wife one i have already shared the whole text with you in the group in word file on screen you can also see the text let us first go through the text really what keeps us apart at the end of years is unshared childhood you cannot for instance meet my father he is some years dead neither can i meet yours he has lately lost his temper and mellowed in the transverse midnight gossip of cousins reunion among brandy fumes casuals and absences of grandparents you suddenly grow nostalgic of my past and i envy you your village dog ride and the mythology of the severe crazy aunts you begin to recognize me as i pass from ghost to real and back again in the albums of family rumors in brothers anecdotes of how noisily father bed slopping soup on his back find sources for a familiar sheep mouth look in a sepia wedding picture of father in a turban mother standing on her bare splayed feet silver rings on her second toe and reduce the entire career of my recent unique self to the compulsion of some high sentence of his semelian's diary and your father gone irrevocably in age after changing every day your youth's evening he will acknowledge the wickedness of no reminiscences no not the burning end of the cigarette in the balcony pacing to and fro as you came to the gate later after what you thought was innocent so student we have just gone through uh, the lines that today we are going to discuss ak ramanujan is a modern and intellectual poet his poetry imbibes influences from diverse sources intellectual philosophical and psychological family and relations are two motives that can be found in his poetic kaleidoscope in ramanujan's poetry family is a sustained symbol uh, that works throughout his creative consciousness for ramanujan family is a way of understanding the self it's a mean of developing a vision of the vital process of life so in the poem love poem for a wife the poet delineates his relationships his relationship with his wife and he gives us some of the reasons why their relations are somewhat estranged the beginning lines of the poem brings out the main theme of the poem the main idea of the poem that says really what keeps us apart at the end of years is unshared childhood students as we know his ramanujan was born in india and his wife was born in a foreign country so both had a different past he was born in a traditional indian family and she was born in a westernized family so through this poem ramanujan tries to explain explicitly or implicitly 
the cause of disharmony in poet's relationship with his wife he says you cannot for instance meet my father he is some years dead neither can i meet yours he has lately lost his temper and mellowed so he says that my father is no more there you cannot meet him and authenticate my experiences and also your father is almost he has he has gone very old and he has also mellowed down in the transverse midnight gossip of cousins reunion reunion among the brandy fumes cashews and absences of grandparents you suddenly grow nostalgic of my past and i envy you your village dog ride at the mythology so the poet say that both of us uh, were eager to know about each other's past and at family reunions where parents were or the elderly peoples were uh, absent as it happens in a westernized society that um, big families are not there nuclear families are there uh, usually one couple with its small child lives so the poet poet's parents they were left behind in india and he was living with his wife and sometimes when some parties were thrown and cousins and friends assembled they they became nostalgic the author the poet and his wife too became nostalgic and they remembered their past they talked about their childhood and they were eager to know about each other's past experiences happenings events and they were even interested they took interest in each other's story and stories uh, were about like uh, the poet say that i envy your village dog ride and mythology of severe crazy aunts you begin to recognize me as i pass from ghost to real and again in the albums so he says uh, the author he was enchanted by the narration of the dog ride that his wife took and the way she narrated about her several crazy aunts the way they behaved in an abnormal way author remembers that through these delineation his wife started to recognize him his self became somewhat clearer to her and i pass from ghost to real and back again in the albums so he was his behavior his life the happenings they were no more a past of the past of the bygone thing now gradually he started re- recognizing his personality and back again in the albums of fel- family rumors in brothers anecdotes of how possibly father bathed sloping soup on his back and he would narrate her how his father took his father bathed noisily and applied soap over his back find sources for a similar sleep mouth look in a sepia wedding picture of father in a turban mother standing on her bare splayed feet silver rings on her second toes and he would even describe or he would show to her the wedding photograph of his parents in which his father could be seen wearing a traditional indian turban that a groom wears on the occasion of a marriage and how his mother could be seen wearing very beautiful traditional indian jewelry that a bride usually wears at the time of nuptial nuptials introduce the entire career of my recent unique falls to the compulsion of some high sentence in his samilian's diary and your father gave irrevocably in age after changing every day your youth's evening he will acknowledge the wickedness of no reminiscences no not the burning end of the cigarettes and the balcony pacing and to and fro as you came to the gate late after what you thought was an innocent 
so in a mocking and self mocking tone the poet gives amusing details which reflected a difference between his and his wife's backgrounds familial mental and emotionally their wife uh, his wife and he didn't share a common past the poet he recounts the memories of an evening party at which a number of cousins both of his and hers were present the cousins had some wine or brandy and casu and they talked freely in the absence of the elders he remembers how his wife wanted to know about his past and he wanted to know about her past and childhood ramanujan remembers that he becomes envious when he learns about his wife's village dog rides and the history of her seven crazy aunts and on the other hand his wife feels delighted to learn how his father noisily beat and slapped soup on his back she feels happy to see the wedding photographs of her his parents she feels contented to find out the source of foolish looks on his face in a self mocking tone the poet say that it was god's will that he had he has achieved something unique in his life otherwise he was a born fool the fact of the fact delightfully recognized by his wife so students this much for today uh we will continue with the textual analysis of the poem in our next class thank you very much